With the DC-3, commercial aviation came of age. No aircraft in history has earned a greater reputation for dependable service than this universally famous 21 passenger transport. Hello aviation enthusiasts and welcome back to Sky Review Zone. Today we are launching our thrilling new series, Do You Know Your Aircraft? We will dive into the captivating world of aircraft and helicopters and what a better way to kick things off than with an absolute icon of the skies, the legendary Douglas DC-3. The Douglas DC-3 is more than just an aircraft, it's a game changer that revolutionized the airline industry. Introduced in the 1930s, this marvel sets new standards for performance, reliability, and passenger comfort. Brought to life by the Douglas Aircraft Company, the DC-3 was a true trailblazer during the 1930s and 1940s, especially in World War II. It evolved from the DC-2 into a larger, more advanced aircraft known for its dependability, speed, and comfort. This low-ring all-metal wonder Equipped with conventional landing gear and powered by two robust radial piston engines, its delivering between 1,000 and 1,200 horsepower changed the course of aviation history. So buckle up and join me as we explore the unique features, remarkable history, and groundbreaking innovations of the incredible Douglas DC-3. Let's get started. The story of the DC-3 begins with its predecessors. DC stands for Douglas Commercial, and the DC-3 was the result of a development effort that started after Transcontinental and Western Airlines or TWA reached out to Donald Douglas. TWA needed an aircraft to compete with the United Airlines new Boeing 247, and in 1931, sorry, 1933 rather, the DC-1 showed promise and led to the successful DC-2 in 1934, but there were still room for improvements. American Airlines also played a crucial role in the creation of the DC-3. In a marathon phone call, American Airlines CEO C.R. Smith convinced a reluctant Donald Douglas to design a sleeper aircraft based on the DC-2 to replace the Curtis Condor 2 biplanes. The result was the Douglas Sleeper Transport, or DST, which first flew on December 17, 1935, the 32nd anniversary of the Wright Brothers' flight at Kitty Hawk. The DST featured a wider 92-inch cabin to accommodate sleeping berths. However, Douglas also created a passenger version of the DST with 21 seats instead of sleeping beds, and this version became known as the DC-3. The first DC-3 followed seven DSTs of the production line for delivery to American Airlines, and the rest they said is history. The DC-3 popularized air travel in the United States, cutting down cross-country trips to about 15 hours eastbound and 17.5 hours westbound with just three refueling stops. This was a significant improvement over previous trips, which involved shorter hops in slower aircraft and overnight train travel. Let's start with performance and efficiency. The DC-3 is powered by two Pratt and Whitney Arrow 1830 Twin Waps radio engines. These engines provide a cruising speed of about 180 mph, with a maximum range of approximately 1,500 miles. One of the standout features of these engines is their fuel efficiency, which was revolutionary for its time. The engines are designed to deliver reliable performance while minimizing fuel consumption, making the DC-3 cost-effective for airlines and operators. The engines also ensure the DC-3's ability to handle various weather conditions, providing reliable performance even in turbulence or during high-altitude operations. With a proven track record of safety and reliability, these engines are a key feature in the DC-3's legendary status. The experience in the DC-3 was much more comfortable than its predecessors. You were flying faster and higher than before. You were still flying through bad weather because it was not pressurized, but there were seats for 21 passengers, very large internal cabin for its time, and the service was first class. Also, the DC-3's takeoff and landing capabilities were impressive, with the ability to operate from short and unpaved runways, making it versatile for different types of airports around the world. Moving on to the exterior design, the DC-3 has a distinctive timeless look. Its sleek aerodynamic shape not only looks great but also enhances performance. 
the twin engine setup and robust landing gear adds to its rugged reliability. The DC3 design also includes features like a tailwheel landing gear configuration, which was typical for aircraft of its era. This design contributed to its ability to operate from rough airstrips. Inside the cockpit, the DC3 features a straightforward yet effective layout. The avionics suit includes essential navigation aids and instrumentation, providing pilots with the tools they need for safe and efficient flight. Although it lacks modern automation, its simplicity is a part of its charm and reliability. Pilots appreciated the intuitive nature of the DC3 cockpit, which, despite its age, remains functional and effective for various flight operations. Now, let's talk about the cabin. The DC3 can accommodate up to 32 passengers in a typical configuration. The seating layout is straightforward, with ample legrooms and reasonably comfortable seats for its time. While the DC3 lacks modern amenities like in-flight entertainment and Wi-Fi, its charm lies in its nostalgic appeal. The cabin is well ventilated and noise levels are surprisingly low for an aircraft of its era. Flying in the DC3, as they say, is a unique experience. The flight is smooth thanks to its robust design and effective noise reduction measures. The service on board varies depending on the operator, but you can expect a basic yet pleasant journey. And the cabin crew on the DC3 flights are often praised for their attentiveness and professionalism, adding to the overall positive experience. Also, maintaining the DC3 is relatively straightforward. Its robust design and widespread use mean that spare parts are generally available, and there is a well established support network. The DC3's track record for reliability is excellent, with many aircraft still in service today. The DC3 is also equipped with essential safety features, including multiple emergency exits, life vests, and oxygen masks. While it may not have modern systems like terrain awareness and collision avoidance, its design and operational history demonstrates a strong safety record. Passengers' feedback on the DC3 is overwhelmingly positive. Many appreciate its nostalgic appeal and reliable performance. Operators and owners often highlight its durability and cost effectiveness. You can feel the plane when you fly it. You have to take it in your hands and experience it. As a pilot, I'm important, so I have to do it myself. It's something quite special. Economically, the DC3 remains an attractive option for certain operations. Its fuel efficiency and low maintenance costs contribute to its continued use. Additionally, its ability to operate from short and unpaved runways opens up opportunities for use in remote areas. So guys, in conclusion, the Douglas DC3 is a legendary aircraft that has stood the test of time. Its performance, reliability and nostalgic appeal make it a favorite among aviation enthusiasts and operators alike. Whether you are interested in its historical significance or its practical capabilities, the DC3 is a remarkable aircraft that continues to soar. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the DC3's incredible legacy. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our next aircraft review. Until then, keep your eyes on the skies and your dreams of flight alive. See you next time on Sky Review Zone.